What's up guys, back again, and today I got a very busy vlog for you guys, so we're gonna learn a lot today. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. So Randy's intercooler is actually sitting too low, so right now we actually have it off, but his issue is the intercooler is the lowest point of the car, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize the brackets that the intercooler came with that usually mount right here, and we're gonna bend them so that it'll pull the intercooler up so it sits higher. You guys will see the result after we finish bending the brackets. So the bracket on the right is how it came in from the factory, except Randy did trim it so that it didn't hit his headlight. But that is the factory length of the bracket, and over here on the left is the new length. Basically what I did was I straightened this out to get it flat and then bent it right here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So if you guys have like brackets like this that aren't exactly positioned the way you want, it's not too late, it's not the end of the world, you don't need to buy a new bracket. Usually these brackets come with a material that's soft enough to where you can kind of fabricate it yourself to your needs, so. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Let's get it. So before we get started, um, if you haven't checked out my website yet, go check it out. See if I have any merch that you guys like. I'm wearing the tall tee right now with the joggers. I feel like they go super well with the joggers. If you're a tall dude and you wear joggers, get the tall tees, they're sick. Also, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, check me out. I'll have my Snapchat username right over here or here. I don't know. Baby, so everybody's dying to know, what are you? Are you white? Are you Asian? What uh, are you? I'm both, I'm a hoppa. I am a quarter Italian, a quarter Chinese, and half Vietnamese. Uh, my sister from the uh, SD You're vlog. You're half bitch! Fuck you. <laughs> my sister from the SV vlog, uh, she's, um, I believe she's native Filipino and Italian Chinese. The Italian Chinese comes from my dad. And um, my, we have different moms, so my mom's full Vietnamese and uh, my sister's mom is Filipino and Native, Native and white. So, hope that answered you guys' questions. <laughs> Alright guys, Christian didn't tell you this, but oh, I'm actually his real dad. He doesn't know that, but... <laughs> Where have you been all my life? <laughs> <laughs> I saw your penis size when you were born, I had a dupe. Stupid! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what you want to do is you're gonna get you need a, a vise and clamp the bracket and then basically bend it with sheer strength downward, just like that. You call that sheer strength, bro? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't get it from you. <laughs> oh! Ooh. All right, son. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry. Son. <laughs> so here it looks kind of ugly. There's a hump there. Don't lose hope. Mimi, Mimi, sh show him a hump. I'm <laughs> just kidding. So yeah, I need to fucking pound the hump <laughs> like this. So just get a hammer and uh, some floor if you guys have a floor that you can beat on. <laughs> then you fucking pound away. Just like that. Damn. Do it straight. But obviously you're gonna want to clean it up a bit, you know. Give it some time. Put some energy into it. Make sure it's really flat. And. Uh, should be good. Now you have a straight bracket and then you can bend it to whatever length you want. So in this case, we're gonna match it to this. <laughs> so, let's get our Sharpie. You're gonna be working with tools when you're in the hospital, so. I know, so but those I'm are like, saying. but those are surgical tools, those are different. So I think we're gonna bend it right about here. Guys, if you have a black bracket, make sure you don't use black sharpie like us. We're just fucking idiots. <laughs> so, <laughs> we think we can see everything, but we can't. <laughs> okay, I can sort of see it, so we should be able yeah, to. Yeah, we're good. That'll work. I was wondering what that was touching me. It was the damn fucking fly. Flies aren't welcome in this house. Sorry, flies. If you're, if you're a fly and you subscribe to our channels, don't stop by. Oh, it's lit. <laughs> Christian's lovely assistant, me, is gonna help him hold this. So you're gonna basically clamp this down. So we have the line about matched up to the edge, and at this point, all you do is just bend it. Send it. Just bend it, bro. Just bend it and send it. 
you get it slightly bent and you take a hammer at it. Try and make sure it's you have a straight bend. Yeah, beat that hard black thing. All right, and there we go. Now we have two identical brackets. Hey, it's pretty on point, dude. All right, let's mount this beach up. Here's a little sneak peek for everybody on Christian's channel. Ooh. Hey, thanks, bro. Yeah, no worries, man. Fuck yeah, Christian's a fucking genius when it comes to shit like this. Look at the, look at this. I barely have any clearance right here. This fits perfect, but and this looks fucking amazing. Ooh. All right, guys, everybody on this channel, I don't think you guys know this. Maybe some of you guys do know, but Christian's a fucking genius. Check this out. Or he's just really good at everything. So this was a flat bracket that's gonna go on here. But Christian's fucking first try looking ass. Got that shit first try. Uh, perfect. This is the right bolt. Yeah. There you go, Sick, bro. Sick, bro. I, I need a sticker, a uh, Christian built. <laughs> so now you can bolt that down and you're chilling. I'll right, bend this one for you. Sick. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. This fool's a fucking genius. Damn. Ain't going nowhere. That shit is on there. Thank you, brother. No worries, Doc. Got you. Lucrative Co, guys. Go check it out. You already know. Randy's intercooler is fully mounted and it's solid. I'm digging it. It looks good. I'm happy with my work. Now, time to work on my girlfriend's car. So the issue with this car is that when we brake at high speeds, we get a lot of wobble in the steering wheel, so... I'm predicting that it's because the rotors are warped, so I'm gonna go ahead and check that out and share that with you guys. Alright All right, guys, my new whip. See you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Damn, nice car, bro. Where'd you get it? Thanks, man. Um, I suckered some tall, half-white, half-Asian looking dude. I scammed him for this car. <laughs> What an idiot. What an idiot, right? <laughs> King of bags and everything is lit. Damn. Just kidding. Damn. Alright guys, so the rotor's off. It's very easy to take it off. All you gotta do is take off two 17 mils that are on the back of these two to get the caliper off, which is right here as you can see. Um, 17 mils look like this. They're pretty short. And then there's going to be two Phillips head screws that bolt the rotor onto here. And then you can pull it off, take it to an O'Reilly's to get them resurfaced or spun. That's like 20 bucks. Just make sure you give them a call first to make sure that they do it because not all locations of O'Reilly's spin rotors. Also guys, this car is a 2013 Honda Civic LX, so if you ever need to spin the rotors, this is a tutorial on a 2013 LX Civic. So I hope that helped you guys. It looks like it's a common problem for Civics to have their rotors warped, so if you notice a vibration in the steering wheel under braking, I would recommend checking it out and getting it spun for 20 bucks versus having to buy a new rotor for 40 bucks because O'Reilly just called me back and it turns out her rotor is warped so that is not really fixable. So we're going to pick up a new rotor and install it right now and then I'm going to work on this bad boy right here. See you in a sec. We got this new brake rotor um, for like 44 bucks at O'Reilly's. Comes with a two year warranty so if they warp um, within those two years uh, they'll replace it for free so it's lit now we're gonna reinstall this thing and get Mimi back on the road again I have to say having a boyfriend that knows so much about cars is so useful because I would have never figured something like this out and I would have just ignored it and it could have gotten really bad I don't know what could have happened Christian is so smart and he knows so much so especially just figuring things out like this really helps me out he's the best. She's on her way. Later, babe. Later. Wait, I'm staying home. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Just 
loud as fuck. Yeah, you're clear, bro. All right, the FRS is ready to be worked on. Got the wheels off, so what we're doing to this car is we're learning how to replace the stud because as you can see, this one right here basically snapped. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the caliper, which can be removed by removing the uh, 17 millimeter bolts on the top and the bottom on the back of this caliper right here. Once you remove the caliper, we're gonna remove the rotor. And then once we're able to access the hub by removing the rotor, we're gonna go take the hammer and pop this guy out. All right guys, so if you have a 2013 BRZ FRS, in order for you to take off the rotor, you're gonna need two bolts that you'll end up tightening with an impact gun to actually push the rotor out or off the hub. So those two bolts are there to basically unpress the rotor from the hub here. And that's basically how you do it. And now Can we're gonna go ahead and hammer that out. Can I break it? Yeah, Randy's gonna do it because he has superhuman strength and I don't really. Fuck a hammer. Yeah! Damn, bro. <laughs> Are you serious? Ah! <laughs> you, is your hand okay, bro? If you guys don't have a hammer, just hit up Randy. <laughs> so once you get the other stud out, the broken one, then you can go ahead and slip the stud through. Um, usually I'd recommend using spacers, but I don't have the spacers uh, big enough to actually fit around this stud. I'm gonna use a spanner wrench with an open spot that fits it. I wouldn't recommend doing that because you never know if you need that, but I have a bunch of tools, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna make sacrifices, fuck it. So once you do that, you take your impact gun and then tighten it until the stud comes all the way through and you should be good. Let's see how this works. Almost all the way through. Yup, there it is. Alright guys, so the new stud is in place. The gap looks pretty well closed in the back. We can go ahead and put the rotor back in. And uh, put the wheel back on but I actually have to lower her bag a little bit more, but now you guys know how to replace a stud on a BRZ FRS. And there you go. Also make sure that after replacing the stud, when you put the wheels back on and you're driving, make sure you double check the torque on that stud, just because after drive it may seat more properly and that will end up loosening the lug, so you'd want to retorque it just in case, so. Do that for like two days, just check it. All right guys, in case it wasn't clear earlier, um, to take off the rotor, you're gonna want to find the right bolts that have the same thread pitch as these holes, and you're gonna impact these bolts in, therefore unpressing the rotor from the hub. All right guys, that's gonna end it for today's vlog. I hope it was helpful. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button, and if you haven't already done so, check out my line i'll have the link in the description below and right up here check it out check out my merch pick up some tall tees or some regular tees i still have some in stock if you're tall and you like to wear joggers the tall tees are lit check them out guys thank you for watching catch you guys next time